Hi, my name is Stray Schneider, and I'm going to be doing a video response to Ashley Adamson's latest video, released on the 8th of January, 2023. I am speaking to you from the Annex lands in Treaty 6 of the Cree and Dene people in this area. My views on Ashley's video come from the perspective of a white Eurocentric trans woman. So today I watched Ashley Anderson's video As Long As The Balls Don't, uh, two sets of ellipses, and in this video she was discussing the attitudes of various men towards her genitalia, and that sh what she avoids um, even in men who identify as straight. So basically you're saying that if a straight man acts even a little bit gayish, she'll stop having or avoid having a relationship with him. And the main premise of her video was the question, does dating a trans woman make a man gay? Right? There's that. So a brief summation of some of the points that she highlighted in her video. Um, she discussed how her having a girl dick makes some men see her as a femme guy rather than a woman. Another point she brought up was that by men's fluidity, fluidity in terms of their sexuality and preferences makes their views of her problematic in some way. Um, another point, a third point she brought up was that she is open to relationships with other trans folk as long as they help her validate and occupy her own sense of femininity. So what might be problematic with Ashley's video? Well, let's go into that. Um, so she holds a certain heteroconformative a view of straight boyfriends. So that's kind of a problem, possibly. Uh, she says, she suggests that bi men fail this test, whereas straight men don't. Okay. Uh, problem with this um, holding men up to a head conformi conformative view is that it perpetuates and upholds an imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist, heteropatriarchal view of masculinity, right? Which we're trying, <clears throat> I would suggest that most of us who are probably, well, maybe not, but many of us who are queer are trying to get away from or, or counter, overthrow in some way or other. She also suggests that um, bi men, unlike straight men, can't get past seeing her girl dick as a penis, where straight men can, and they'll eventually see it as a source of feminine pleasure, much like with a Taurus, uh, and that um, females generally tend to, well, females, women, boy, females can't believe I fell into that one, women, <laughs> women experience sexual pleasure differently and that somehow straight men can get this bi men cannot and then there's also that 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 little bit of um it wasn't exactly said directly but it came across that she was suggesting that bi men and even gay men um she seemed to suggest are more interested in her genitalia than her as a person but somehow the straight men aren't. Again, I'm not too sure where that comes from. But yeah, I mean that 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 was in there, and I can't, and I, I yeah. Uh, however, she um. It seems to me that she can't say with high a high degree of confidence that this is true because she dates mainly straight men and not very many bi men and even fewer gay men. Um, so 
I don't know how she comes to this conclusion. So what might Ashley be leaving out of the conversation? Well, one thing that she leaves out is the ratios of her interaction with bi men to straight men. Um, let's be clear, she does not have to provide this information. We're not entitled to that. But if you're going to be making claims about uh, how bisexuals behave in relation to straight men, um, people are going to want to know. Uh, again, we're not entitled to this information. So I'm not saying she has to give this to us. It, it just would have been useful if one wanted to make a more objective determination. Um, she also leaves out any valid all, any personal, albeit valid, experiences that she may have had that have led her to these conclusions. And um, these, this also would have been helpful. Again, these are things that she does not feel, she should not feel she has to share, but they would be useful for someone who doesn't know what's going on to maybe consider if they are, they are also looking at uh, relations between bi men and straight men, for example. So how does this all affect me? Well, it doesn't, in short. It doesn't affect me. In a more long answer, um, Ashley's focalized practice of choosing mostly straight men has no direct bearing on my life or lived experiences. Okay? While I myself seem to be mostly attracted to um, to queer partners, this is true, <laughs> I, I, um, I can point out that most of my relationships have been with queer people. Uh, I, I can name two people offhand that I've had relationships with at any level, um, in an intimate level, rather, um, sexual partners and such that were queer. I have friends and stuff who are straight, right? But um, people I tend to get intimately involved with are queer. And, and it's almost like un an unconscious, I don't intend to, it's more an unconscious draw, right? And, and I'm drawn to them regardless of their gender. So, I mean, yeah, it's not a gender issue. I'm not looking at their genitalia. I just, I'm very attracted to them, and the fact they have genitalia is just a nice side feature. Um, in fact, I think my preference is bisexual men and women, and non-binary as well, bisexual people, right? Mm. But I am open to having partnerships with, with gay and lesbian. Um, however, how to work with me being a woman, a gay partner, but I mean, they may see me as a, a femme man, so I guess from their view that might work out for some of them. Um, that said, some of the things that Ashley said need to be addressed. My ex-spouse would often use the following old saw whenever I deign to remind her that I am bisexual. And it went like this. Bisexual men don't exist. And men who think they are bisexual are disgusting. Also, all women are bisexual. So, even now, I, I feel it. Uh, for six, almost 16 years, she would, she would bring that up. Um, it suggests... Well, it does terrible things. It, it, it erases by men and demonizes anyone who thinks they're a bisexual man at the same time, which is a, a, a strange contradiction. How can you demonize something that doesn't exist? But the, this old saw, this saw doesn't care about the logic. It, it's just meant to erase and demonize anyone who might think they're bisexual and are male. Um, also, the second the tag on there about all women are bisexual 
simultaneously erases straight and lesbian women. So, I mean, in, 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 if you subscribe to that song, I don't know if she believes it. This is what she used to me. But if you, if you accept it, then you are also saying that they're only bisexual women. And women who think they're straight or lesbian are, are fooling themselves, which is like really lesbian phobic. <laughs> so it's biphobic towards bi men, lesbian phobic towards women, and, and even in a weird flex, it's kind of straight phobic. I mean, fuck. I mean, it, it, it hits all, all the things pretty much. <laughs> right? Um, so, when, when Ashley was talking about, um, about this, um, and, and talking about these, that bisexual men are attracted to genitalia, well, and gay men, right, are attracted to genitalia, genitalia primi primarily, uh, I, 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 Remember this old saw and, and, and the accompanying shame that went with it, right? Here I am, I'm, I'm, tra I'm a trans woman, I'm technically a woman, but I was presenting as a male. And I, I realized my sexuality was bisexual. And, and it made me feel erased and rejected and, and, and almost a little despised, right? And, and actually talking about that, triggered up that, triggered that sense of shame in me. Um, now, Ashley could have known that. She didn't know that someone might be triggered in that way by what she had to say. And, and, that, and, and you know, I mean, that's fair. She didn't know. I think what it demonstrates, though, is a lack of sensitivity on her part on this topic. Um, and I don't know, this is me conjecturing, maybe she struggles with her own sense of shame regarding her, her own bisexuality, which then she's discussed having um, this particular sexuality in past videos. Um, or was it pansexuality? One or the other, they're, they're, they're similar, they're similar and they would, they would get attacked the same way, let's face it. Mm. And only Ashley knows that this is what she needs to struggle with, so I can't speak too much on that. I'm just conjecturing at this point. In summary, uh, I I don't I don't think Ashley is necessarily biphobic. I don't think she finds bisexual bisexuals and bisexuality icky. Okay, I don't think that. I do think that she struggles with internalized biphobia, but I mean, don't we all? We all have in internalized struggles with um, with biphobia and, and homophobia and transphobia, classism, lots of things. Um, and I think also like the rest of us, she is stuck in this imperialistic, white supremacist, capitalist, heteropart patriarchy that influences and informs our thoughts and our decisions, right? I, I, I'm stuck in it too. You're stuck in it. She's stuck in it. And I think you also have to keep in mind that I am speaking from a position of white privilege. And it's possible that it is my whiteness based sensibilities which are offended more than an actual offense on her part. But I think it is, I think the points I brought up are fair. Um, I think these are things that should be considered and should be considered while remembering that indeed I, I do have white privilege. Okay. 
So that's my conclusion. Um, like it or lump it, I don't know. Um, I'm not a popular YouTuber. I'm just giving my own personal response to a YouTuber that I actually like. I will not be canceling her from my list of, sub of subscribed channels. I might take a break from her at this point. Um, and I hope it, it, I hope that if she does see this, she sees it as perhaps constructive criticism, if any criticism, criticism at all, maybe an invitation to open a dialogue. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just hope that it's taken not as an attack or an offense against her. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for listening.